So I have two questions that kind of piggyback on all that. The first is, so you talked about how we need to reclaim language or make sure that when we use words that it means something different than yep. the way that the culture does. How do we do that? And the second question, you know, I'll, I'll ask again after that, yep. but that is, what about churches that have ex, that are expressly in their catechism and catechesis sort of inculcating secularist notions of what it means to be human and identity? What does somebody do in that sort of environment? Yeah, as, well, as to the first question, I think we, we mustn't lose sight of the fact that ultimately the proclamation of the gospel is a supernatural thing. And therefore, the prophetic voice of the church, it's not simply down to technique. I think if we expand and apply the word of God faithfully, then we hope that that will be used by the Holy Spirit to transform hearts, minds, and lives. So I think that, the, first of all, the task of proclamation, faithful exegesis and application of scripture from the pulpit week by week is important. Secondly, I think uh, catechesis, careful teaching of the whole counsel of God is important. Uh, you're not going to transform what somebody understands by the word love on a single Sunday. But over a period of time where somebody is connected to the life of the church and sitting under sound preaching and sound catechesis week by week, we trust that their thinking about that concept will be transformed. As to churches where this stuff is already starting to creep in, that becomes very, uh, that's a very tricky issue and it would depend on the kind of church, but certainly in the sort of church that I belong to, a Presbyterian church, uh, that kind of thing must first of all be addressed through the processes that the church has for addressing that. Uh, local churches are able to raise challenges to the church's teaching. Uh, we have procedures, we have courts of the church by which these things can be, can be hashed out and if necessary prosecuted. So I would say church people need to be good church people and think in terms of their responsibility to the wider body to which they belong and use the powers and the processes uh, they have at their disposal in order to try to address worldliness, etc., as it's creeping in.